Was goo, y'all. Welcome back to the lab with another quest build. It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded any build videos here on the channel. I kind of stepped away from 2K a little bit since Mike Wang wanted to, you know, tinker with the dials and switch up how the game mechanics kind of worked. But with the recent patch in season three dropping, I've decided to get back on 2K, get back in the builder, and you know I'm bringing you the rarest build in all of NBA 2K24, never before seen. This thing has shades of Bam Wallace, Kenneth Fareed, and Sean Marion. This is the first ever slashing defensive anchor. You know I had to get back in the build and bring you guys some heat. So let's jump right in. We're gonna make this build variant at center. You're gonna be six foot eight, 273 girthy pounds with a max seven six wingspan. So follow along to a T to get this name and then tinker at your own discretion in your builder. At the end of the day, it's your build. You can do whatever you want. This is just gonna be a blueprint to get that slashing defensive anchor name. There's a couple variations. So I'm gonna take you guys through some of the name threshes in order to get this name. And then we're going to break down some of the other type of variants depending on your play style at the end. But first we're going to get our close shot to a 50, get our driving layup to a 70, get our driving dunk to an 87 because we want those pro contact dunks. We're going to get our standing dunk to a 45. If you go up to a 50 you can get the Petto Carl Malone package. That is not for kids. That is rated M for mature. But we're going to go 45 standing dunk because we want those just under the rim kind of, you know, normal dunks. And then we're going to get our post control to a 30 because that's going to go up by default when we tinker with the strength. Mid-range, we're going to actually, we're going to go down to three-point shot. We're going to get this to a 77. That's going to be a name thresh. You can't go higher than that. Obviously, that's going to up our mid-range to a 62. But you're going to be able to hit threes on this build if you know your jump shot with the recent shooting patch. You're going to be able to shoot on this build if you put in the work. And then we're going to get our free throw to an 81. Shout out Kobe Bryant. And so you're going to be serviceable from the perimeter. Pass accuracy, we're going to get this to a 77. That unlocks some nice badges. If you go too high, it might turn into a two-way slashing playmaker. That's kind of hot but not what we're looking for, but you do need to get your ball handled to at least an 81 and then your speed with ball to at least a 72. That's why unfortunately you have to make this build at 6'8 or 6'7. Then we're gonna get our interior defense to an 88. You're gonna be able to ground and pound with those bigs down low, even at a small size. We're gonna max out our perimeter defense to a 90 that gives us that Hall of Fame off ball pest. Keep our steelies at a 50. We're gonna get our block to an 87. That's gonna give us that gold chase down here in a second. Then we're going to get our offensive rebound maxed out to a 92. That's going to give us gold rebound chaser and you are going to be attacking the offensive glass heavy. But then we have to get one more on the defensive rebound to a uh, 78 or it's going to change the name to like a two way slasher. Like I said, I'll go through some of the other variations depending on play styles with the name threshes in mind here in a second. But we are going to get our speed to a 75. It's going to unlock that speed booster on bronze. Acceleration went up with the perimeter D, so that's maxed out. We're going to get our strength to a 90. Gives us that gold brick wall, gold immovable enforcer. And then we're going to get our vertical to an 80. That's going to unlock that gold chase down. Then put the rest on stamina to a 98. Max that out. All right, so there you have it. These are the attributes for this slashing defensive anchor blueprint. I think this is a really well-rounded variant. You can shoot the three ball, you can slash, you can handle the pill. Defensively, it's really a hybrid three, four, five. You can play interior defense, elite perimeter defense. You can crash the glass on both ends. You have nice chase down ability when you're going up for blocks. I've already seen some snatches on this build thus far. Good measurables with speed and acceleration, elite strength with 90. You're gonna be an absolute hoss to move around on the wood. So some of the atch threshes to get this name, you're going to need that driving dunk, you know, 86 or higher. You don't want to go too high on the midi or three ball, a 78 or higher will change it. Don't go into the 80s on pass accuracy, ball handle 81 at least, speed with ball 72 at least. You can drop the perimeter defense down below a 90, but then you do potentially need at least an 80 steal to end up getting the name as an anchor. Same with offensive defensive rebounding. If you don't want the offensive rebound to a 92, um, initially I found this build by getting an 86 offense rebound at least and an 84 defense rebound but that does cost more atch 
So if you did want to tinker and like lower the strength, I know that's not necessarily a necessity for a lot of players on 2K, but for me, strength is extremely important. It unlocks some really good goon badges, and this build is going to be an absolute tone setter. For those of you gonna, for those of you who have the plums to hop on this build, you're gonna want to punch your opponent in the mouth a la Ben Wallace, and then be that freak athletic spark plug like Sean Marion to really give your to really give your team an energized boost. Like I said, this thing can slash, obviously it can shoot on these variants with the three ball. If you wanted to punt shooting entirely because it's just super inconsistent in 24, you can even allocate a lot of attributes elsewhere. You can max out strength, max out rebounding, uh, etc. But this thing can shoot, slash, handle the pill, and then basically guard all five positions and it has pretty impressive elite freak measurables. And you're going to end up with the rarest name in 2K24, the first ever slashing defensive anchor. I'm not saying I'm the first one to ever make this, but I am the first video that I've seen breaking down how to make this blueprint. Let me know what you guys think of this build. Would you invest your hard earned VC into this blueprint? How are you guys liking 2K24? Do you want me to keep uploading build videos? Because I can get back in the lab and start cooking up some bacon if you guys still want it. Let me know what's goo down in the comments because you know what time it is. Quest Sparrow.